Okay, so I just stumbled upon this super lightweight UI library written entirely in ANSI C. It's only about 1,100 lines of code. Wow, that's impressive. I mean, a tiny UI framework can really change how quickly you can prototype something, right? Totally. And it operates within a fixed memory size, so it doesn't allocate extra memory on the fly. That's wild. Right. And thinking about it, that's a big deal in environments where memory is limited. Just imagine how efficient that is. Exactly. And it comes with built-in controls like windows, buttons, and even sliders. It's almost like a mini operating system. I can picture it. So can you create a window and just throw in a button? Is that how it works? Yeah, you just call a function to begin a window and then set up your layout. It's surprisingly straightforward. Wow, that makes it feel really user-friendly. It's like if you could design a simple app with minimal code. Exactly. And it later allows you to add custom controls too, so it's adaptable without being overwhelming. So if you wanted a unique slider or maybe a custom button, you just add that on top. That's such a neat feature. For sure, and think about how versatile it is, works with any rendering system that can draw rectangles in text. Oh wow, so it really can fit into different projects. That's massive for developers who want flexibility. Exactly. And there's even an example provided that shows you how to set it up with the controls. That's really helpful. You can dive right in and see how it actually works in real time. Yeah, and the fact that it handles input and drawing commands separately is a game changer. Right. It separates the concerns, allowing for even more control and customization without being a headache. This reminds me of those times when libraries get bloated with features no one uses. But here, it's definitely not the case. Exactly. Focusing on essentials helps avoid that bloat. Users can just add what they need. But wait, isn't it interesting how a small library like this can encourage you to think differently about UI design? Definitely. It challenges you to innovate within constraints. It's like a creative puzzle. You could say it promotes minimalism in design. Less is more, right? 100%. And also, since it's free software, people can modify or tweak it as needed under the MIT license. That's huge. It opens up opportunities for community-driven enhancements if someone's passionate about it. Exactly. And the thriving community can really push the library to grow. But let's say someone hits a snag. They can report bugs. That's a great way to maintain quality. Yes, active communication about issues means the library can improve quickly. And it leaves room for learning as well. Users gain experience and might even end up contributing. So true. It's like a cycle of growth, both for the tool and for the developers using it. I love how a simple concept can lead to such rich discussions. It's mind-blowing. I agree. Who knew a UI library could spark so much excitement around development techniques? Exactly. So ultimately, it's about simplifying complexity and inspiring creativity. Right. And if more developers embrace that philosophy, we could see a lot more innovation. And it's a reminder that sometimes less is really more, even in tech. For sure. Makes me wonder what other gems are out there just waiting to be discovered. Totally. Also, it's a challenge to see how we can keep pushing boundaries with what we create. Yes. So what's the takeaway? Maybe focus on simplification and effectiveness. Exactly. Plus, we could always dive deeper into how constraints can inspire creativity. Such an exciting thought. What if we set out to find more tools that embody this minimalist approach? That's a fantastic idea. Just thinking about the variety we could uncover is thrilling. I know, right? We could even share our findings and spark a little revolution in our circles. For sure. I can't wait to see where this exploration takes us. It's like a treasure hunt. And we'll definitely keep digging. Who knows what groundbreaking tools are out there? Exactly. Let's map out our next steps and keep that curiosity alive. Absolutely. Can't wait to see what we uncover together. This is going to be fun. Yes. And let's not forget to keep exploring how simplicity fuels innovation.